Well, we've been you streaming live from Ferguson for the last couple of weeks. We've uploaded a lot of videos, and now one of our writers, Kit Daniels, is there. And this next video coming up is a compilation of some interactions that he had there when things quieted down, when there was no more tear gas canisters being fired at people, when people could actually stop and talk and really discuss what happened there over the last few weeks. First, we have the chief of police who clarifies what he meant by, you need that $50,000 camera in order for him to know you're the media. And then Kit talks to some youth there and explains to them how the Federal Reserve is manipulating currency to keep people poor. And then he speaks with a former Philadelphia police captain. You'll recognize him because of that iconic video footage where the police were arresting one of their own during the Occupy movement. And then he's going to sp speak with a man who is a newspaper owner and operator about the truth about citizen journalism. Sir, do you feel good about how the night turned out tonight? Not really. I'm sorry this is not a $50,000 camera I'm talking to you with. what now? I'm sorry this is not a $50,000 camera. So what does that, what does that mean? Well, your comment on the press conference the other night, where you said that if I'm carrying a $50,000 camera, I'm obvious to you on media. No, but if I'm not. I said in the middle of chaos, it's easy for me to determine. Oh, okay. I'm saying you have to have a $50,000. It's just easy for me to determine if you're media when you have that. And so when we're asking some of you to move back, if all you have is a cell phone, we're not denying it to me, but it's part of us to tell us that Okay. So yes, I am pleased with yep. the events that we've seen. And like I said, I uh, you feel expect the media to be out here and the ship be out here. You know, I'm looking at your press pass. That uh -huh. looks, you know, it's a real press pass. But I've seen some guys have just written press on it. So what do you all think about the Federal Reserve System, you know, the, the private bank that creates all the money out of thin air here in America. I didn't even know about this. Yeah. At the goal that is Lewis right now. You notice there? how, like, after a couple of years, prices get higher? Yeah. Yeah, it's called, a, you know, you've heard of inflation, right? Yeah. You know what, what inflation is? It's a hidden tax. Uh. It's uh, basically by controlling how much money they have. You know, it's like if you play Monopoly, have you all played Monopoly before? Yeah. You know, like, you, when you have a Monopoly set, you have a certain amount of money with the set. But if you took two Monopoly sets and combined the money, so instead of having, like, $100 bills, you have 200 to give to all the players. It wouldn't all the money at that point, like, each individual dollar be worth less since you have more of it? So that's inflation. So by creating more, making more money, the Federal Reserve is passing a hidden tax on to you. So if we had, like, a gold standard or silver your money would gain value. So you could work for 15 years and you'd retire because your money, like 20 years down the road, you might make $100,000, $100, it might be worth $400,000. But instead, with the Federal Reserve System, if you save up $100,000, 30 years from now, it might be only worth $50,000 because they created more money. Yeah, I was thinking about buying a couple of ounces of gold myself. Wait a couple of years, you know what I'm saying, to see how it worked out. Matter of fact, there's more taxes. You know what I'm saying? Taxes is getting increased. Almost. Money's not. Uh. Its value is almost going to be nothing. So then the world is going to get so bad where people are going to be knocking on your door trying to rob you for your food. Absolutely. Because money will have no value. Yeah. So if you got money, there is no value. Yeah. You know, so. That's the ultimate power. They're like slave masters with, if they can create money, they have control over human energy. Right. Right. So. Man, this is in Revelation. This is in Revelation. Man, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, you too. What's your name, brother? Oh, my name's Snug D. Buck. Yeah. Now you can Google me. Yeah. Kit Google. Daniels. Google me. Okay, I'm going to Google you. Infowars.com. What's your name? Okay. Nice to meet you. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to drop your phone. What's your name? My name's Chris. Yep. Kit Daniels. Infowars.com. Infowars.com. Kit Daniels. All right. All right. So have a good night. But in, in oh, summary, the, the, basically the mega banks didn't like you protesting outside in your police uniform. Right. Well, I was drawing too much attention. Yeah. And they didn't want... The media, the mainstream, they did not want mainstream America yeah. to see a legitimate uh, 
person, what they call legitimate. I was, I didn't have long hair. Yeah. They, they tried to uh, make the people. They just want to control the narrative. Correct. Yes, they wanted to control the narrative, and I upset that. I, le in leveraging my uniform, mm -hmm. they could not combat that. They could not call me lazy. They could not tell me to get a job. They yeah. could not tell me to take a bath. Subsequently, they could not come at me and discredit me. Yeah. And I legitimized, to a certain degree, the occupiers. We went to truth. And if the truth sets you free, it should be it. A couple of nights ago, uh, Captain Ron Johnson of Missouri State Troopers he told uh, at a press conference, he said that you're not... We can't tell that you're media unless you got a $50,000 camera. What would you say about that? Here's something for you. Oh, he, this he is my tech guy. He's got a media pass. Mm -hmm. He's got a media pass with his face on it. He's got a media pass with the publisher's signature on it. The owner of the newspaper and the website. I don't. Do you know why? I'm the guy that owns the damn newspaper. And the website. So if I show Junior down there with a gun, a badge that says I'm his... Boss, is he going to put his flashlight down? I can make the badge say any damn thing. So even running around showing, showing your press badge doesn't mean crap. And in this country, everybody out here, whether you work in a damn newspaper, you've got Facebook, or you just want to take it home and show the kids what happened, you're citizen journalists, and you should be able to record and film everything and not have your stuff trashed, not be treated like shit, not be threatened, I'll see you again. Yeah, I hope so. I, I certainly hope so. Thank you for watching the show tonight. Now, if you like those kind of man on the street reporting where we were able to send the whole crew out to Ferguson, Missouri for a few weeks at a time, we are able to do that because of your support. So please become a member of Prison Planet TV. You can get instant access to all of our reports. There's over 18 years worth of footage there and information in the archives and your username and password can be shared with up to 11 people at the same time that is 11 people getting instant access to all the information they need to fight the info war thank you for tuning into the show tonight we'll see you here again monday at 7 p.m central Celebrate the spirit of freedom and liberty upon which our nation was founded at InfoWarsShop.com. Molon Lave is ancient Greek for come and take it. This popular design combines both classic Greek Spartan imagery with modern M16 assault rifles. Now available in women's tees and proudly made in the USA. And now you can protect yourself from corrupt cops with the InfoWars dash cam. It's your car's black box that records all that the driver sees and hears. And introducing the Block It Pocket. It renders your phone undetectable while protecting your private data and your health. Or take back your privacy and protect your personal information by getting your very own detractor cell phone pouch. So get incredibly high quality freedom-based products and help fund the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.